Hi, I'm Brenda Sutherland, the Product Manager for Adobe Illustrator, and today I'm going to be sharing with you something that we're working on. With the new pattern creation feature, you can create beautiful, seamlessly tiled patterns quickly in Illustrator. I'm going to show you how. Let's start by selecting this object, choosing Object, Pattern, Make. You can see that what happens is we're instantly put into a new pattern creation mode, and we have a new Pattern Options panel appear. While I'm in this mode, I have my original objects. I also have copies of these objects that appear to show me how they'll be replicated in a pattern. I'm going to change this to Dim Copies to 50% to make it really easy for me to distinguish between the copies and my editable artwork. With all of my objects selected, I'm going to choose Group. And I can do that because while I'm in this mode, I have access to all of my creation and transformation tools. I'm going to select this object and option drag to make a copy of it. And then I'll recolor this copy and resize it. What you can see is that the parts of these objects that extend outside of my tile bounds wrap automatically back in on the other side. Let's try that one more time. We'll copy this object, drag it here, and let's apply another color. And with these two objects on top, I'm going to apply a transparency blend mode. And when I think I like my pattern, I can just turn off dim copies to get a quick preview of it. When I'm satisfied, all I need to do is click Done. And my pattern has been added to the swatches panel. Let's take a look at what this pattern will look like applied to an object. Create a very simple object here. Apply the pattern. Now that's pretty cool. But what's really magical is at any time I can go back to that pattern and edit it. When I double click on this pattern, I go right back into pattern editing mode. Everything in my pattern is still editable. I can select objects, change their color. I can even create new objects while I'm in this mode. And let's give this an opacity value. When I have a pattern I like, again I click Done. And as you can see, not only did my swatch update, so did the object filled with that pattern. You're going to have a lot of fun playing with this new feature. 